Gamer Syndrome, we're going over the April releases. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. It is already April 2021. The year is flying by. A big shout out and a big thank you to all the support and the love and the, the involvement from everyone during Easy Allies' fifth year anniversary. We begin year six, here we go. April release date, let's get right into it. So first up, out the day this episode is out, April 1st, April Fool's Day, don't get tricked, don't get fooled. So out April 1st is Outriders. And I really, really like where this game is going into the release. They obviously came out with that demo that had a pretty solid reception. Uh, you can carry your progress into the main game. The game is releasing on Game Pass. It is cross-play, cross-progression, all of that good stuff to make it as easy and convenient to jump in and play with your friends. Even though the game was supposed to be out by now, I think the smart move was to delay it because it puts it in a position to learn from the shortcomings of a lot of these types of games. I know it's not quite live service. It's not quite Destiny style games as a service. It's kind of straddling the line somewhere in between, but I will be reviewing it. So I am excited to dive in and try to figure out the most OP build. Just make me OP in Outriders. Next up on April 6th, Oddworld Soulstorm. This will actually be coming out on PS Plus, which is nice. And I had no idea that it is a reimagining of Abe's Exodus. So it's a little confusing here. Originally in 2014, Oddworld New and Tasty came out, which is a remake of the original Abe's Odyssey. Now this is a sequel to New and Tasty, which is a reimagining of Abe's Exodus, which was originally the sequel to Abe's Odyssey. Are you following? Good. So I'm kind of a newbie with Oddworld. You know, I've played the original PlayStation games here and there. I've dabbled. I've never sat down and gotten through them from start to finish. But I'm actually intrigued by New and Tasty. The reception from a while back was really solid. Uh, and now that the sequel is out on PS Plus, there's really no excuse. And I learned that New and Tasty is only seven or eight hours, so quick and easy to get into. Odd World, I'm diving in. Let's go! Push those cannons to the start! Also that day, a little bit of nostalgia from back in the day, 16 years ago, one of the greatest Star Wars games ever released, Star Wars Republic Commando. First person shooter, Clone Wars vibes. This is a great time to revisit this game. Again, it is, in my opinion, one of the best Star Wars games that there is. I still haven't played the Pod Racer remaster though, Star Wars Episode One Pod Racing. So if I haven't even played that, it's just there's so many games, so much good stuff. Then on April 7th, I'm sneaking this one in here. It's not a full release, but it's an open beta for Reverse Resident Evil. This is just a friendly reminder that the Reverse open beta is coming out this day, so you don't have to wait to get your hands on Resident Evil Village to try it out. And we're gonna be streaming it on Mike and Mike, so you can expect our full gut reactions, uh, some hot takes from Damiani, I imagine. It'll be a great time, so look forward to that. Then on April 8th, a couple smaller games I wanted to shine a spotlight on. Cozy Grove looks like Animal Crossing meets Don't Starve. And then Before Your Eyes, a emotional first-person narrative adventure where you control the story and affect its outcomes with your real-life blinks. You play this game with a webcam and blink. I'm always down for games to try new cool technologies, and I'm always down for emotional first-person narratives. Make me emotional. Then on April 15th, a double dose of nostalgia and remasters. First up, Saga Frontier. Yo, quick shout out to Squaresoft. Squaresoft hype. 
I never played the original Saga, so this is now on my radar. It looks awesome. Of course, then I always get into the situation with my brain where I'm saying, am I really going to find the time to play Saga Frontier Remastered when I haven't found the time to play Final Fantasy VI or Fire Emblem Three Houses? Who knows? Also that same day, Shadow Man Remastered. I had a Nintendo Power poster of this in my room. I thought it was the coolest thing. He looked so awesome with his shades and his gun. Shadow Man. Uh, this was a difficult game growing up. I always used to rent it from Blockbuster. I must have rented this thing seven times from Blockbuster, which, uh, you know, the, the last Blockbuster on Netflix, why was there no segment on video games? There was that one guy referencing renting GameCube games and never returning them, but I was expecting a full segment. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. But uh, Shadow Man, I'm excited to revisit this game. I haven't played it since I played it on the Nintendo 64. So this will be a total trip down memory lane. Very excited. Then next up on April 20th, MLB The Show 21. Unfortunately, this year I will not be doing a review because the time versus views ratio, according to Daniel Bloodworth, is quote, not worth it. This is the first year that MLB The Show, a Sony San Diego game, will be on Xbox. That's gonna be so awesome. Boot up your Xbox and it says Sony San Diego. I just love this. Breaking down console barriers. Let's all join hands, have fun together, play games together, love and respect all around. Also new this year, the new big addition is a stadium creator. I will be streaming this game. I'm not reviewing it, so I'll just be streaming it a bunch. So stay tuned for some Jolly Streams. We'll build a stadium together. It'll be awesome. And uh, maybe I'll get my friend in there to no hit me again. Then on April 23rd, I just wanted to say Judge Eyes. Judgment is getting a remaster, so if you missed it the first time around, you have another shot to play the Yakuza spinoff. And also, Near Replicant version 1.22474487139 dot dot dot. I still haven't finished Near Automata, which is a sequel to Near version 1.22474487139 point 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 dot dot dot. I imagine a lot of people haven't played the original Nier. I know Brad is uh, big on it. He says it's a little rough around the edges. So I assume this remaster will uh, iron out the kinks. Then on the 30th, R-Type Final 2. This is the first R-Type game in over a decade. So if you're into side-scrolling shooters, check it out. It looks awesome. It looks jolly. I can always use more games like this. You'll ride the Neo 1 through the jungle, across the desert, and even under the sea. It took over two decades, but we finally are getting a new Pokemon Snap. It feels like this release has kind of just snuck up out of nowhere, like on some unsuspecting Pokemon in the shrubbery. There are over 200 Pokemon to photograph in this. The original had only 63, so this is three times more than the original. And I'm just excited to stream this with the allies. It's gonna be a nice, easy going, relaxing stream. New Pokemon Snap, we finally got it. Also on April 30th, Terminator Resistance Enhanced. Here's another one I missed the first time around. It fell through the cracks, but here we are. Another shot at redemption. Terminator Resistance. I just want to blast some T-800s. No fate, but what we make. And to close out the month, one of my most anticipated games, Returnal from Housemark. Do not let the $70 price tag narrative distract you from what is potentially going to be an early goatee contender. Housemark is such a great studio, and this looks like easily not only their most ambitious game, but their best game. And this is coming from a studio who's made Next Machina, Matterfall, Resogun, Outland. I 
absolutely adore this studio, and it was a bummer to hear them say that they needed to shake it up when uh, their most recent games didn't perform as well as expected. So I'm really excited to check this game out. Returnal, don't sleep on this. This is gonna be a big one. Suit status operational, but my sidearm is missing. Heading towards White Shadow Broadcast. And that's gonna do for the episode. I am Michael Huber. Again, a big shout out to all the support during the fifth year anniversary EZX celebration. Thank you so much for everyone who contributed, big and small. So much love and respect. Those are the April release dates. We know that next month is gonna be Resident Evil Village. So we just gotta get through April and there's a lot to keep us busy in the meantime. So until then, love and respect, and we'll see you next week.